Next up, a major budget battle at stake. Valuable school funding. Providence City Council told the school no raises, no new hires. Now they're digging in their heels, waiting for a breakdown of the $310 million budget to make sure their demands were met. New at 10, Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has the details. He's with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. City and state leaders are concerned about losing federal funding if the proper paperwork is not filed. Meanwhile, the head of the City Council Finance Committee sent this letter to the school district looking for cooperation and answers. The city began its budget year with a clear order. No pay increases, no pay raises, no new jobs. We cut our budgets all, all down the line, and we expect the school department to do the same thing. Yes, but students went back to class thanks to a $310 million budget if the school that, according to Igliozzi, no includes five to $17,000 raises for an yeah. unknown number of top administrators. That prompted two written requests from Igliozzi to Superintendent Donnie Evans. Igliozzi wants the school department's proposal to save taxpayer dollars, its present organizational chart of employees, and its proposed organizational chart of employees, which would tell council who's getting the raises. In a city where none of the other employees received raises, and some were actually laid off. What should happen to this extra money, if there is extra money? Well, if we end up having some kind of surplus in the school department, well, then we can apply it two ways. One, to programs that have been abolished, like music, athletics, or two, use it for next year's budget when the state, of course, as we already know, is going to give us less money. Igliozzi also tells us if the raises are actually handed out without the paperwork, it would be illegal. No comment from the school district tonight and also no comment from City Hall as far as the mayor's office goes. With the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.